Okay, so I got the cool pad surf here. Um, so I still have it in the 2.4 gigahertz mode that it comes with uh, when you get it. Uh, so I do have it connected here on my laptop. So just to show you there, and here we are, cool pad surf. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a speed test here on the laptop, and then I'll do one on my phone. So wait for this to pop up. It's thinking about it. All right, let's just try it on the phone first, since it's already ready. So 26 down and looks like about eight up. All right, now we're on the computer here. Go ahead and click go here, see how that goes. So we're getting a little under what the phone was getting. And the hotspot is right here, right next to the computer, so shouldn't have any issues getting good signal. Okay, so it was somewhat close to what it was. All right, so what um, somebody asked me as in, in a comment was uh, how is the difference between the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at that uh, because I would like to personally see, um, let's see here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and log in here. Okay. <clears throat> So we're now logged into the hotspot. And as I showed you before, so we have our battery level, we have our signal or Wi-Fi level, um, we have the SIM status, all that good stuff. And then it shows you devices that are connected. So um, you can also check to see if you have an SMS, which this one does, uh, I don't think I have a new one here. Do we? Let's see. No, nothing new there. All right, so let's go ahead and change our settings. All right, so we are on the 2.4 gigahertz network. So let's go ahead and go here, and we are going to enable it. And this only lets you have one or the other, so you can't have both at the same time. So here's the message that comes up here. You cannot have both channels active at the same time. This will disable current channel and SSID. All connected devices will need to reconnect. So that means my computer too. So let's go ahead and do this. And just wait. Just blink to there. Okay, it does have to reboot itself. Alright, no internet. Okay, it looks like it's resetting itself here. Let's see if it shows the there it is five gigahertz now it's gonna ask me for the password so i have to get that and i will be right back Alrighty, we're back so uh the five gigahertz network is now enabled which kicks off the 2.4 gigahertz network um, it did take a few seconds to uh, reset itself but it's back up so we do have it on the phone here and have it on the computer here we'll go ahead and do the speed test here on the phone first so if you remember it had 26 down eight up for the 2.4 gigahertz network. So let's see if it gets improvement from being on a five gigahertz network instead. Hmm. 
I was gonna say either that's an improvement on the upload or that is congestion. Usually when the when it's congested, the upload goes just wild. All right, so that's what we get on the phone. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try it again on the computer here. So let me go ahead and uh, get back to our speed test here. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back, start new. And let's go ahead and see if it's any better on the computer. Now mind you, I did not move this. It's still in the same spot it was. So it is doing a little bit better here. All right, so it did a little bit better on the computer here. It looks like it's probably gonna be about the same uh, upload speed that we had previously. Okay, so another thing I will do to try and improve the speed here, so it doesn't seem to make much of a difference if you have the five gigahertz versus the 2.4 gigahertz, other than maybe the max speed. What I'm gonna do here is put the hotspot right here in the window, because that usually helps with signal, especially on T-Mobile, but <laughs> you know, we'll see how, uh, how much that helps here. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do another one with it in the window, see if that gives us a better signal. Okay, that did not help at all. <laughs> okay, so we got 19 down, 15 up. So that could be a symptom of congestion, but let's go ahead and do it on the phone here and see how that goes. And I mind you, this is, it's in the window now, so it's not right next to the computer and phone. So it's not really doing much of a, it's not giving me much of a difference here. Yeah, the upload going up like that kind of makes me feel like it's, uh, it's dealing with some congestion, so. Okay, so one more test just because, I'm gonna turn this off now. I do have T-Mobile as my carrier, so I do have T-Mobile LTE on my phone. This is an iPhone 11, not a Pro, but it should get better speed than the hotspot. Yeah, just by a little bit. So it looks like it's just a little bit better using the LTE from my phone. So let's do this. Let's do the hotspot. <clears throat> let's do the hotspot on the uh, on the computer here. Oops. Yeah. Hang on. Allow others to join. Okay. Let's see if it works here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and get onto my hotspot here. for that to pop up here. Uh, let's see. Not working? Okay. So that is now working. So let's go ahead and reset this so it gets a different server here. And let's go ahead and click go here. Let's see how it goes.
Okay, so I'm not seeing much of a difference between the phone hotspot and the actual coolpad hotspot. Um, so it, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference, I don't think. Um, but the phone, I guess having the LTE directly on it, that does make a difference. So um, anyway, hopefully uh, hopefully that kind of gives you an idea of the 2.4 versus 5 gigahertz networks on the CoolPad Serve, as well as LTE and personal hotspot from your phone. Uh, it could be different based on the phone and based on the computer you're using. Uh, this computer is a it's a MacBook Pro, a, a relatively newer one, so it should have all the bands or all the uh, Wi-Fi bands uh, supported, um, except for you know the newest, so it goes up to AC. But uh, also, it could be that the uh, the Apple phone works better with the Apple computer. Many variables will determine your speed that you get from a Wi-Fi hotspot. But uh, hopefully, this kind of gives you a little bit of a, an idea of the differences um, between those two on the CoolPad Surf as well as uh, a personal hotspot from a phone. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.